Deep digger down. He's back. Come on! Get in! Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's 7.45am. Why am I not in bed? Why am I not in bed like everybody else? Because I'm out to film for your Sunday competition day. The children's kids competition today. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Because we want to get the children off your computers and outside enjoying the wildlife, the, the countryside, metal detecting. So, without further ado, let's get straight into last week's competition, yeah? I asked you all to send me a picture. Basically, I wanted you to make me a model of a metal detector. Make a metal detector. Not a working one, that's just stupid. You're not that good. Um, a metal detector, and you've all been making them. 80 children sent in for the competition. Absolutely amazing, 80 of you. And I've received them all. Absolutely amazing. The amount of effort you've all put in is brilliant, and I thank you all very much for that. It's, it's nice to know you've spent hours, days, making something rather than sat on your computer. I, I really appreciate what you've done. I wish I could give you all the prize, but I can't, unfortunately. So, uh, as you know, the first prize was a massive kit, which included a Garrett Ace 250 metal detector, donated by Dave Coleman from Austria. Massive thank you, Dave. Thank you to everybody else who's helped with all these prizes as well. There's been Mine Lab, um, Sean in England, um, Dave in America helped with the stickers. He donated stickers. Loads of people, loads, loads of companies. So thank you very much to you guys. Also, watch at the end of the video because we've got uh, another competition starting with 10. I'm going to try and make 10 prizes. 10 prizes. Let's cut all this out. Let's get straight on to it. I want to show you all 80 entries for this competition. And then, straight after, I'll announce the winners. Good luck to everybody. Let's, all, let's see all this uh, effort all these children have put into this.
Remember, I didn't pick the winners. Don't hate me, don't hate me. I get judges to do that because it's too difficult. Between me and you, I'd have picked all you children who didn't win anything. But don't tell the winners that. A massive congratulations to every child who has won. Um, I'm very, very sorry for you guys who didn't win. I know you all put in the effort, but please don't be disheartened. There's the next competition. Everyone can win. Um, the next competition, what have we got coming up as prizes? Let's take a look, shall we? So what I'm doing is I'm putting 10 boxes together, okay? 10 prizes for 10 people. You're not going to know what is in that box. But what I'm going to do is pack a box, okay? Get 10 boxes laid out, pack them with prizes, and write on the box uh, what age I think it's suitable for, whether it's suitable for a girl or a boy. And then, when it comes to it, I'm going to pick 10 people who fit the descriptions, for them prizes and send it to 10 lucky people. So how do I win one of these prizes I hear you ask? Right, here's what you have to do. You have to go outside. Oh yes, no more inside. You've got to go outside. You've got to find things, okay? I want you to make, you can make a picture, a model, anything you like to do with metal detecting, but it has to be made out of things you find outside in, in the wild. Basically, you can go in, in the woods, in the forest, you can get branches, leaves, anything which is naturally growing, yeah? Or you can go on, on the beach and get driftwood, things you find on the beach, anything which is natural. Um, not tin cans and things, you know, not, not junk which you find. It has to be a natural, naturally growing thing. Um, I can't accept vegetables because vegetables you don't you're not going to get them from outside are you? you're going to get them out of the kitchen cupboard so please go outside like I am now in the woods in on the beach I wish I was on the beach right now and and pick things up go home and and make a picture or a model out of out of all these natural things you can as I say you can use trees not an old tree. Well, you could use a whole tree. That would be a nice picture. Um, tree parts, branches, moss, flowers, um, twigs, anything. It's up to you. You get the general idea, yeah? So, you do that. You make me a picture and send me an email. Now, please, something I want to stress this time, because it just makes my job so much easier. Um, one, sorry, I've got a runny nose and I've forgot my tissue at home. Um, one photo per entry, please. Please don't send me four or five like some of you do. I do appreciate it because it, you know, it gives a good idea of, of what you've been doing. Um, but it'll make my job so much easier if you can just send one picture to this email address, deepdiggerdan at hotmail.co.uk Send that to me, you've got till next Saturday at 5pm my time um, which is 4pm Greenwich Mean Time that's 4pm in England that'll be, whew, let me think for about 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturday on the east coast of America and about 9am Saturday on the west coast of America. You'll have to check it out. But 4pm Greenwich Mean Time next Saturday. So get them to me. Ten prizes. Let's all win some fantastic things. And enjoy doing this because it's, it's, a, nice, uh, it's a nice little challenge, isn't it? 
Now the majority of these prizes have been donated by one person, Mr Alan Little um, from kingdigger.co.uk Here's his web address, I'm going to put it on here kingdigger.co.uk Please, seriously, this guy has donated the biggest box of prizes you could ever imagine. He's spent a fortune for this comp for these competitions, not just this one, for, for lots, because he's sent so much, this will keep us going for a few competitions. Please visit his website and buy things from his website. That's the least, the least everybody can do, is visit his website and take a look. Amazing, absolutely amazing what he's done for us. So a massive thank you to you, Alan. Not only that, he's sending more things as well. He's even sending more things. Um, I know there's other companies involved and I do appreciate it, I, I don't want to belittle you guys. All the companies who are involved in, in these prizes, thank you very much to every one of you. It's so appreciated, not just by me, but by all the parents and the children. We love it, thank you. Um, but yes, I just want to make a special, special announcement about kingdigger.co.uk because it's not a huge company. Um, he's obviously spent a lot of money, which he, maybe his company's doing well, I don't know, but yeah, please visit his website. As you probably noticed, I only had three prizes in the last competition, but I think I've, I think it's 16 prizes I'm giving out. Now that's 16 lots of postage costs. Um, I have received some fantastic donations from you all. Thank you, thank you so much for your donations. I really do appreciate it towards the postage costs. Um, one guy, one guy, and I'm very, very sorry that I can't remember who it is, but you'll know who you are, sent $150. $150 to help towards postage prices. Amazing. That is so, so generous of you. Thank you very much. Um, but, as I say... I think 16 prizes in the last competition, the one you're watching now, and I'm doing 10 in the next competition. So the postage prices are going up because I'm sending out more things, so please do donate postage money. If you can just spare a few dollars, it will really help. I'm okay for the, this coming competition, then we might start to struggle a bit. So if you can help, please do. On top of that, um, please visit my website deepdiggerdan.net and buy merchandise because uh, all this will help me to be able to either put in caps or t-shirts as competition prizes or the money go towards postage prices if you understand what I'm saying. So that's it guys, that's your competition. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, what the children did last week. I hope you're going to enter the next one. Please do. It's not hard. You just have to do a picture or a model out of natural things. It's not hard. Come on, enter. Enter. I'll leave it at that. I'm going to go do a bit of metal detecting now. Um, thank you very much for watching. Come back next week. You've got six days to make your models and your pictures and email them to me. Thank you very much. And remember... You've got to get out to get in. Come on!